Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over how I am currently trading Bitcoin and I'll also be giving you some insights to what to be looking out for in this market structure that we are seeing right now and some key levels that need to be claimed. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and uh, before I go off some of the sculpts that you can be having right now because I must admit they are very nice, uh, let's just go over the market structure that we are in right now okay and this is market structure of lower highs and lower lows e.g bearish market structure so one has to be very careful indeed while taking longs okay uh, because if you do not have good risk management uh, you know you're just taking loss after loss after loss and uh, you know you can throw away any gains that you may have made over the last uh, few months obviously um, so that's just the first thing to be aware of. Okay, and you can clearly see since we lost 9k, so since you lost 9k, it has just been SR flip after SR flip after SR flip after F SR flip, um, you know, just with those lower highs and lower lows, okay? Um, so that's one thing to definitely be aware of, the, the, the structure of the market that's going on. Um, but, but for me, this is now coming to an area where... You, you have to remember, we, ha we have had that impulse up and you have like headed down quite quite heavily, I would say. And it's reaching a point in the chart, in my um, personal view, where this is the time where you start getting the late shorters. OK, so people that have been, <clears throat> excuse me, people that have been longing, 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 have now reached a point where they're like, OK, this is heading down lower. OK, you start getting people at this moment in time going from bullish to flipping to bearish, okay? So you're gonna see people start, you know, giving out these very low calls. You're gonna start seeing a lot of bearish news come out and it re reaches a point where, well, this is where late shorters do get wrecked in my opinion. Uh, you know, it can happen very, very quickly. Uh, so you just have to be very much on your toes at this point. Just remember, you are now in a downtrend for, for coming up a month, okay? So a month long downtrend. If you look on the four hour, you're seeing a lot of, you know, just, just just very much, uh, you know, the RSI is reaching uh, below below 20. Uh, so that's just like extreme oversold on the four hour charts. So it's just just to be aware of. I'm not saying long, by the way. I'm just I'm just saying late shorters uh, just have to be really careful. It's, it's never a good idea to short support. And you are on the 8000 and order block support. Um, so you just have to be very careful. When, and you do not, what, you know, do whatever you want. This isn't financial advice. But uh, I would just be very uh, careful opening shorts at these levels okay just my personal perspective um and i'm not saying we can't go lower by the way i'm just saying you're much better off waiting for a rise before you short before you know shorting support just makes zero sense uh if i'm honest with you okay so uh as you know from the last video that i done and this was now my last video was on the 14th we're now on the 19th so five days ago uh, i was obviously going through the short that i was in on my trading account okay and this is obviously one which i do on the champions live streams uh i was talking you through you know if you want to just go back and watch the last video but i was essentially talking you through why i was in that short position you know giving the transparency of showing it um and then on sunday on sunday's live stream which is another champions live stream um i got uh a, a, this is just like really really nice because you have to recognize that there are a lot of i want to i don't want to hate on people but i want to say like false traders on you know twitter etc 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 and there is totally a difference between charting and trading okay they are two whole different spectrums in my opinion you know you can be a good analyst but that doesn't mean you're a good trader because when you're charting you're you, you've not got any money on the line and when you're trading the emotions that come in with having money on the line are totally different um so i think like the transparency of me sort of showing these trades are uh in some in some time in some way i do see it's like needed and in other ways i i also think it's not needed to show but um for the purpose of you know obviously doing my live streams on the you know the live trading that's so uh, you can see the perspective of like live taking trades sort of thing of like my thought process in the actual moment um and this was a live this was a short that i caught on sunday's live stream obviously explaining the reasons for entering the short and as you can see um like for myself i think this is like you know, from a you know my my own perspective, if I was a newer trader, and I saw this move up on Sunday night, where price was you know rising a few hundred dollars. If you see the amount of green volume that's flowing in there, I think one could definitely find FOMO as a newer trader and looked along that. Okay, but from my perspective, it was a stop punt. Uh, it was a good time to enter a short. And uh, yeah, that was all explained literally on the live stream, uh, taking that short. And that was actually the fill on this higher upper wick here. OK, so from that higher upper wick, I did take profits lower down, but 50 percent. 
uh, on the challenger count this is by the way uh but yeah get filled on literally to the to the top of this uh candle on the wick okay so from that wick we can clearly see heading down to a 300 very small bounce uh with zero 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 follow through on the bounce before breaking down to 8000 uh order block and psychological level okay and now from this uh order block we've seen one bounce which gives us our uh, 8220 resistance now so you just want to be a little bit careful opening longs below this you might want to wait for price to get above this before you get a safer long okay but eight so you know you currently just so you're aware of the levels right now 8200 and let's just say 8225 resistance okay down to 8000 support and that's the range that you're in right now from 8225 to 8000 okay breaking 8225 you, you got the monthly above you 8300 uh and then really you you know if you manage to clear some of these levels you'd be looking at 87850 again Obviously, if you lose 8,000, you're looking down, in my opinion, to 7,910. Loss of that level would be very bearish. Uh, you'd be looking down to the monthly next at 7,727. But in the meantime, the range is to be played. And there are bounces on altcoins to be seen and had. Um, there really are. There, there are bounces to be had. You just have to be very careful and locking gains very quickly. It's not the sort of scenario, in my opinion, where you enter swing trades right now on alts. It, it's sort of like enter a coin, take 1% or 2% gains, lock it in, and move on to the next trade. Uh, just because the Bitcoin volatility, you know, you can see doesn't really help the altcoins, does it? So, um, yeah, that, that's uh, how I have been trading this. Obviously, last video, taking a short, that, that was an entry, by the way, 8,800, 8, basically. Entering the the next short on the, uh, literally on the Champions live stream. So, people could have f freely followed me if they wanted to. Uh, 8,600. We now find ourselves at 8,000. Uh, where, where currently I am still in the short with, you know, now stop loss clearly in profits. There's there's no need to be uh, entering new shorts for me anymore. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, I just, just, just felt like today was a good video to, you know, firstly, just, just really highlight the levels, highlight the market structure, and just remind you that we are very oversold at this moment in time. Late longers generally do get wrecked. You don't want to be shorting supports. And um, that's not to say you can't get, you know, this can go lower. It absolutely can. But opening shorts right now is, is, is you know, you, you should have been doing this last week. Now is not a time to open short at 8,000 supports. Uh, you've got to wait for the next the next bounce, really. Um, and then just play it level to level. And as I said at the start, don't hold a bias. Don't think, all oh, the halfening is coming in 2020. I need to go long. Or, you know, you, you've seen someone on Twitter say, Bitcoin's going to 3,000. You, you just, just really remember that. And um, also, charting and trading, totally different things just because someone's charting doesn't mean they're trading uh you know it's a totally different ball game when you have money and I, and I was in on this drop a seven figure short so just over a million short so uh you know i clearly have my money where my mouth is um and i'm i'm okay with being wrong you know that's the thing i'm okay with being wrong but i will definitely put my money where my mouth is when i see a trade when i see a setup and take the trade currently in a short stops in profits i'm definitely looking for longs i am ready to enter the trigger and enter along as soon as i get a signal to enter along okay and you know you know while it's still making lower highs and lower lows I, I don't have that signal quite yet but i'm very much ready to take a long uh stops in profit on the short if we do go down obviously i'll just trail my stops uh but but feeling like it's 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 starting to come to the time for a long uh in my honest opinion uh, at least a relief bounce you know at the very least you know at the very least a, a relief bounce okay um so yeah I'm, I'm ready for that uh feeling some late shorts could could get a bit wrecked here uh before we get a, a, another big move a, a relief bounce uh first but First, you need to break out of this, you know, bearish market structure, even on the 15 minute here. Um, so I hope this video has been helpful and uh, given some educational reasons, the trades I've been taking, the reasons why and uh, the levels I'm now looking to trade off of. So uh, I believe that should be beneficial for you. If you have enjoyed it and you have seen the benefits, uh, you know, I'd appreciate a like down below. If you think I've just been a an egotistical uh, show off, uh, which some people truly will think that I'm, I'm sure they absolutely will, although my intentions are not that, then you can give a dislike down below, you know, free worlds. Uh, so I hope that you have enjoyed. <laughs> uh, thanks once again for joining me. I uh, appreciate all the support and uh, yeah, have a brilliant, you know, a brilliant day, week of trading ahead. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, we let's go champs. We got this. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thanks everybody. And uh, yeah, cheers. Thank you. And uh, good night. Bye.